Hello again and welcome to Northwest Custom Images. Sherry's trying her luck at doing some toothpick art with resin pour. This is a two-piece pour and we'll see how it comes out. Once again, we had to set up our tables, lay out our boards, and the second one is hers. And then we added primer to them and then later you'll see that she'll be taping up the bottom and the sides of her board so uh, extra resin after it dries can be removed. So after Sherry taped up everything, she's getting ready to pour her resin. She made her own measurements on a cup and that's what you see here. She's going to do a solid color and she wants to do a very dark blue and that's going to be her base and then later she'll let this dry overnight and she'll also be kind of thinking about her colors because her next pour is going to be clear and that's what she's going to do to toothpick uh, color sequences. And here's her board ready to go and she's going to start adding her base. So once she got her dark blue, she started working on her base and she's just going to spread this out and then she's going to let dry overnight. Now it's time to remove some bubbles so she gets to play with the fire. Woohoo! Once she was done with that, it was time to cover it up and protect it till it dries. So a last minute executive decision was made to add some glitter and she's going to uh, just spread it over lightly over the whole piece. So now it's the next day and now she's getting ready to do our second pour with clear coat. But before she does that, she's going to make sure it's nice and level so her clear resin doesn't float to one side or the other. We have discovered that our countertop is actually leaning towards the kitchen a little bit. So we always have to put sticks under these things. Also great news, we got a new scale to uh, measure our resin to be a little more precise. So we're the first time we get to use this thing. So it's pretty nice. We got it at Amazon for a pretty good price. Time to thoroughly mix our resin right here and then she's going to pour it and let it thicken. Just a reminder, we let the resin thicken so when we add the colors it doesn't spread out and try to blend so much. So. Uh, we end up waiting for about 30 to 40 minutes after we pour before she actually adds her colors. And of course at the end it's time to get rid of the bubbles by using a little bit of fire. These are some of the new liquid metallics that Sherry bought that she wanted to try in this piece. By the way, this is a great way to drive your wife crazy with a camera right in her face while she's trying to pour resin. <laughs> so it's time to begin. And once again, she's using a toothpick and trying to figure out her little mojo to get this started. And, uh, just stick with her, she'll get it. So let's kick back and watch the magic happen.
At the beginning of one of these, you'll find yourself kind of experimenting it with your first color to see what kind of effects you can get with the with the toothpick. So uh, bear with her once she kind of gets her mojo and figures out how things flow on her board, uh, you'll see her start going berserk. Sometimes it's just easier to put your paint blotches down first and then come back with the toothpick to uh, spread them out. Anyway, uh, she's once again kind of switching back and forth until she gets the colors the way she wants them and then she'll start spreading them out. You can probably notice that the resin is a lot thicker than normal and that really makes it nicer to play with the toothpicks to get the effects that you want. Sherry's adding in one of her metallic brown copper kind of looking uh, paint and it really has a cool effect in this particular piece.
And this is some of her silver metallic that she's adding. It looks really cool in this piece too. Oh, did I tell you, you need to be left-handed to be able to do this piece.
So she's pretty happy with that. So it's time to remove the bubbles and play with fire again. So about an hour later, she decided to remove the tape and it will roll over the sides very lightly and keep the design. So yeah, she's happy. So there you go, finished product. Looks really pretty here. My uh, regular pictures don't look so good because the lighting was bad, but it came out real pretty. So there it is. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Northwest Custom Images. We hope you enjoyed this toothpick design with Sherry. Please take the time to subscribe, like our videos, and share them, and we'll see you in the next project. Bye now.